Hello makeup lovers. I just thought what better way to show you why I love these products and to show you me at my rawest form. Here is me. No makeup, not a stitch of nothing. You can see I have adult acne. It's not pretty. It's definitely something that I spend a portion of my time fighting. But because of Unique, I can wake up and make up and walk out the door looking flawless. And I'm going to show you real fast my base makeup routine. Just my facial. I'll show you eyebrow tutorial again later. I'll show you lip tutorials and eyelash tutorials and eye pigments and how to do your eyes. But for today right now we're just going to do this video for my base makeup to show you how I cover up my acne. And the first thing I do is I start with the rose water. This is a multitasker. It's a botanical boost. It's like a toner. After you cleanse, you would tone. You can also use this for um, red spots with acne. I use this to convert our eye pigments into eyeliners. I also use this to get a wet look with all of our eye pigments. You know, some of the pigments can be very vibrant if you use this and make this a wet look. You can use it on the cream shadows as well. But for right now, I'm just going to squirt a couple squirts into my face. Let it dry. And then I have our Uplift Eye Serum. This will help with the crow's feet. It's helped lighten up any scarring I have from my adult acne. I've had this since last September. And I still have a good portion left. This will last me probably until November, if not longer. Just a dab will do you. Let me take a couple dabs. Put them under my eyes and around my crow's feet. If I have any major acne, I'll rub it in there. I know smokers who use it right here, because you know you get the wrinkles from smoking. Or if you get the wrinkles right here, I just take whatever's extra. And I dab it into my eyes. It helps with dark circles and any wrinkling problem areas that you have. And then I'll follow that with our Divine Moisturizer. Sorry, the lids across the room so we're not gonna worry about that that's my moisturizer just a couple pumps and I'm gonna rub it in my face and my neck and let that dry then a couple minutes of that it doesn't take long you can start to feel when it dries on your skin then I take the Glorious Primer. The Glorious Primer, this is amazing. Um, anybody who knows what primer is in your makeup routine, you'll understand how important this product will become. If you don't know what primer is, primer is the base that allows your makeup to stay and last longer. This is also called the Pothole Filler because if you have big pores, it's going to give you a smooth and flawless finish. This also can be used as your eye for your eye primer and your face primer. I know a lot of cosmetic lines sell a primer for your face and a primer for your eye. We sell two in one. It also can be used for frizzing your tame ends and your hair. So, like I said, a lot of our products are multitaskers. They're definitely amazing for more than one reason. So, I'm going to take just a couple pumps of this primer here. This is an old bottle too. I've had this forever, so I have yet to order the new bottle because we have a new packaging, which is beautiful, but I'm still using this one because it's lasted forever. And I'm going to take this primer and I'm going to rub it in my eyes, my forehead. It goes on so silky smooth. It's like silk in your fingers. And then if you have any extra, you want to put it on the ends of your hair can tame the wild ends of your hair. Don't mind my wild hair because my hair is definitely a frizzy mess when I wake up. Heck, even after I shampoo it, I have to put lots of product in it. But anybody who colors their hair understands that. So, now, the next step in my routine is a BB cream. This BB cream is a moisturizing cream mixed in one. And I apply this BB cream with our foundation brush, or we have the blending buds. The blending buds are amazing, but I prefer the foundation brush, which my foundation brush was MIA.
anywho, we're going to use my fingers because I can't find my brush at the moment. Video making number one, make sure you have all your tools right in front of you. But, we're just going to use the fingers. You'll still get the general idea. There we go. Well, you blend it in really well. As you can see, it does a good job in covering. I'll treat some problem areas as we go. Give me one second here. I'll show you what I do next for my routine. Oh, there's my brush. All right. So now that I got a base coat on, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little thicker coat on with this brush in the areas that I need more coverage. See some of the problem areas I have. Let me tell you basically to start with the T zone. I'm just blending, blot treating, and blending. Blend it into your neck. You don't want to have that line at your neck. Alright, I'm going to use my concealer brush here, and I'm going to go in, and you can use two items. This is a cream touch foundation, which is a cream dewy matte finish, or you can use a BB cream. I use both. Um, I like the cream to do my brow line when I'm defining my brows. I like the BB cream to highlight my under my eyes, my T-zone, and the base of my chin. So... I'm going to take my brush here and just start carving out my highlighting areas. A little goes a long way, so keep that in mind. These products will last you for a lengthy amount of time, even with everyday use. Normally I have my brows done first, but I'm going to do the brows in a different video, so that's going to follow this. So we're going to do this base makeup. Let's see, I'm going to look like a little bit of a clown when I'm doing this, but this is the beauty process in my highlighting and contouring. Okay, so I do the cupid's bow, and then I'm gonna do my chin area. And then I take the bronzer, and I use this for my contouring. And I have a slanted brush, you can see where it slants over. And there's a matte side and a shimmer side of the contour. I use a matte side. And I just go in. Make a fish face. I'm so attractive while you're doing so. Alright, we got this here. Minimize my forehead, I'll minimize my nose with the contouring, and then I minimize my chin, and then I'm going to follow that with our blushers. These are now in a pressed form, but I still have plenty of my translucent, well not translucent, my powder form, so I'm going to take my other slanted brush. And a little dab will do you. That's why I've had these forever because of how long they last. So I just dab it in my lid. 
same here. I'm going to go and highlight my cheekbones. If I need a little more, I just go back in and dab. I'll do some circular motions. Some people like a lot of blush, some people just like a little. So, right there you have, as you can see, my clown look. But to even it out, I just take this simple, but this simple puff brush we have here. And normally, I would use my blending buds, but my blending buds are across the room. Remember, I said I'm not prepared. You'll have that. But... I also can use this. There's more than one method. If you want to use your blending buds, you can blend in your eyes. This cupid's bow, it's good to highlight that to get the lip look in your eyes. It gives you more def definition in your lip look. So I'm going to blend it just a bit with my fingers. And then I'm going to take the translucent powder. I love this for highlighting. It also blends and softens that clown look and it'll blend everything in. And you can see what I'm talking about right now. I just dab in. A little dab will do you. This, like I said, these products, a little goes a long way and lasts forever. So I take that and I swirl it in my lid. I start with my eyes because I want the most highlighting in my eyes and then at my forehead. And then I go down. My nose, my chin, my T-zone. I start right there, and then I just circular motions, soften it all out. Nice thing about these products is not only are they mineral based, they're gentler on your skin. Since I've been using these products, I don't have near as bad that problem with my acne. Also, I can tell you, I can match and match different tones and still get a flawless finish. I haven't really had a problem with any shade being the wrong shade because I've earned enough product that I have lots of shades here. So I can start with a light shade and contour with a darker shade and I still end up with a great finish for my skin. Now you'll see I still have a couple problem spots. I just go back in real fast and just a quick little spot treatment. And I'll go back with the powder. Just buff it out. Right. Sorry, my hand got in the way there. And there's my full face. What do you think? Does Unique do a good job or what? I used to be a Bare Minerals girl. I completely jumped ship. Not only did I earn commission, but I earned free makeup and it's makeup that I believe in and I can stand by and it leaves me feeling beautiful. So there's my full face makeup tutorial. Hope you ladies enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day.